In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can set up Burp Suite as well as a practice application called DVWA, which will be able to practice the different things that we learn in Burp Suite um, against an actual vulnerable application. For the purpose of these tutorials and videos, I'm going to be using the community edition of Burp Suite. That's why everyone can follow along and get a feel for the fundamental manual tools that are used in Burp Suite, um, which are typically used by penetration testers and application testers to be able to um, determine where vulnerabilities may exist in web applications and be able to develop proof of concepts through um, packet captures and sending packet captures towards the server and viewing the responses from them. So to start off with, let's go ahead and download the Burp Suite Community Edition. We can go ahead and click on Get Community from the Port Swigger website. Um, once you've done this, you can just click on Download the Latest Version. From here, you'll select your operating system, whichever your preference is, and click on Download. Once you download, there'll be an installer that you can run through. Once you've run through the installer, you can just go into Start Menu and launch Burp Suite Community Edition. In my case, I could just search for Burp Suite and it's there. Otherwise, it will be in your list of applications or wherever you typically find the applications that you've installed on your computer. When you launch Burp Suite, you're going to see this menu pop up or this like splash screen pop up. And then from here, it will take you to the setup for the configuration of Burp Suite. If you have this when you launch Burp Suite, then everything is working as expected. You may need to download Java additionally in order to get Burp Suite up and running successfully, in which case you'll likely get an error that will tell you you need to install Java and then you'll know what to do from there. Once we have Burp Suite installed, there's another program we'll need to install known as XAMPP, which allows us to set up a web server on our computer. Um, this web server will allow us to host a web application that's vulnerable and that will allow us to be able to practice attacking that web application using Burp. To do this, you'll just click on the download for whatever operating system you're currently using. Once you've downloaded it, you can just install it as you would any other application. And once that's completed, you will have XAMPP installed. XAMPP can be launched in a similar way to um, Burp Suite. You could just go to where your applications are and launch the XAMPP control panel. And from here, you'll be able to start the different uh, services that exist for XAMPP. Um, in our case, we're gonna be using Apache as well as MySQL, so you can just press start on those and they should pop up in green. That will tell you that everything is working successfully. So for the vulnerable application that we're going to be using, we're going to be using DVWA, which can be found through this GitHub URL. I'm going to place all these URLs into a resource section of this course so that you're able to access them and be able to um, follow along with all the videos uh, as they're playing. In order to download this, you can just press on this green button that says code and press download zip. This will download a zip file of all of the code that exists um, inside of this repo. And then I can click open with, and I'm just gonna open this with my um, zip file manager. Once this downloads, we'll get this DVWA master folder. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to take all of the files inside of that, I'm going to move it over to where my XAMPP folder is currently located. And that would be inside of my C drive under XAMPP under htdocs. Um, if you're using Linux, I think it's under like var www slash htdocs or XAMPP. Um, regardless, the file name will be called htdocs wherever it's located. And this will be where you place the files that you want to put on your web server. So what we could do is we could just click and drag these over into the um, into the folder here. And then in order to get things set up, we'll just have to do one thing. We're gonna come into the config here. We're gonna change this config.dist into, we're just gonna remove the .dist to make it .inc.php. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna edit this file. And the reason why I need to do this is because on um, XAMPP, the default user and password are different from what's provided in the config. The default user is a root and there is no password by default. So if you've just installed XAMPP, these will be the two credentials that you'll use. Otherwise you want to put in the user and password, the name of the, um, the credentials that you use to log on to your MySQL server, wherever you may have that available. Once you've completed this, you can go ahead and open up a new tab and head to your local hosts. 
And once you've done that, you'll see that you'll end up at this page that will have the DVWA information available at it. Now, if this is your first time using DVWA, it may redirect you to a setup page, which is, um, I'll just show what that looks like. It looks like this. And if anything goes wrong, it will immediately tell you inside of, there'll be like a little, um, a little dialog box at the bottom here, and it will display any errors that may happen during the setup. If everything else works successfully, it will redirect you to a login page. And at that login page, you're gonna use the default credentials, which are admin as the username, and password as the password. Once you've done that, you'll end up at this home screen here and you'll be all set to go. So now from here, there are a few other things that we'll need to set up regarding Burp Suite. So um, we'll walk through those in the next video. We essentially need to set up the certificate as well as the proxy server for Burp Suite. So I'll demonstrate how those are done um, in the next video. But for now, you've got XAMPP set up with your DVWA as well as Burp. So everything is set in place to be able to now start learning the concepts of Burp Suite.